Sometimes we want to overlap different parts of a continuous shape. I'll be using this flag as an example of a way to do this. So start by using the pen tool and trace just the outline of this shape. So start from any corner. To go straight across, hold shift while placing the next point and that'll give you a straight line. To align this node with the one next to it, toggle align to nodes of selected curves. Now close the curve. Ok, now do the same for the inside of the shape. Get all of those points. Hold shift to select both of the shapes and now we need to remove these extra lines. First press Ctrl and J to duplicate so that we have a backup. Drag the layers next to each other. Now toggle visibility of one pair just to move them out of the way for the moment. Now hold shift to select both shapes. And, and then take the node tool. Use Ctrl and scroll to zoom in. So when you hover over the intersection, you will get these guides showing you the point of the intersection. Click to make a node here. Now to remove this line between the two nodes, hold Ctrl and click. Then hold Ctrl, select both shapes and do the same again. The node has been placed on the wrong line here. So just select it again and add another node underneath by clicking the corner of this one. Now control and click to remove. Then do the same again. Add the nodes and control and click to remove. The wrong node has been added here again. So control and scroll to zoom in and accurately place the node. Control and click to remove and do the same again. You'll notice these yellow guides on the lines that intersect. The one that is not highlighted yellow is the one that the node is going to be placed on. If you get this problem, deselect the snapping options. Oh, but keep snap to geometry on. Now the last section. And now the outline is done. Toggle visibility to take a better look. Now select the two shapes, right click and under the geometry section merge curves. It's now become one curve. So now take the pen tool and trace the inside shape. Follow each node. If it gets deselected, hold Ctrl and Shift, then click the line to add it back in. And then close the curve. Then move on to the next shape. Ctrl and Shift to add it back in, then close the curve. Then the next one. So I noticed this after the recording. You can double click the last node to end the curve and then start a new one instead of having to keep 
clicking off. Okay, and now do the middle shake too. Control shift, click the other back in. And then close this curve. Now do the same for the outline. Change the colour of this just for now so we can see what's going on. Now if you select the inside shape and hold shift to select the outside shape together with it, then click subtract. But we forgot one step here, press ctrl z to undo, then take the node tool and press close curve. Now if you hold shift to select both shapes and press subtract, you should get this. Now do the same for all the triangles, close the curve, then hold shift to select both and subtract. If this happens, drag the coloured shape to the bottom. And again, close the curve, shift to select both and subtract. Okay, now we have our coloured background. Delete any extra curves you might have. Then bring the outline on top of the background. Make it darker and increase the width so we can see clearly. And that's how to deal with overlapping shapes. Hope it helped.